So I've been seeing a lot of these videos from time to time on YouTube about what's in my bag and especially from like these medical professionals when they're talking about what's in their medical bag and you're seeing like all these neat nice medical bags with like stethoscopes and things like that and that's not my bag and mainly because I don't really have a bag that I kind of like really take to work like that, that I need all my things in. Because as a trauma PA on a 24 hour shift, I mean, I don't really use a bag, I use my locker. So that is what this video is gonna be about. I'm gonna be showing you guys what's in my locker on a 24 hour call. So let's get to it right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So I wanna show you this video that I made. Um, it just kind of shows you very briefly, I guess you could say, or just kind of a quick view of what exactly is in my locker on a 24 hour call. So things that you can be kind of thinking about if you wanna be on call for 24 hours for your future job. Um, you know, some of the things that I have, maybe you might be interested in having as well. So let's look at the video. All right, you guys, so I wanted to show you what's in my locker because, you know, you're on a 24 hour shift, so you definitely need like a large space to place all of your stuff. I used to have this little tiny locker right here, um, but I got a little upgrade uh, a few months back, so I got a larger locker. So this is it, this is my locker. So I got some, you know, like mirrors and stuff so that you can see how everything is working <laughs> in terms of like your face and stuff, make sure your hair is together. Um, I do have like some products here that I definitely like to ensure that I have, you know, you always need like some deodorant and spray and then um, I have a comb slash brush for my hair right there. Um, everybody needs some sanitary stuff, like don't let anybody tell you anything different. I'm not ashamed to show that. You definitely need that because you never know what can happen. Uh, at the top, I usually have like water and snacks. So you see like I have some snacks up there because, you know, um, our cafeteria closes at two and there's a shop here, but you don't always want to get something from that shop. So it's always good to like have your own stuff. So I have some drinks on the side uh, and just some like chips and things like that. I got this little shower caddy when I had the smaller locker and I would I put it in like this way because so that I can have space but now that I have this larger locker it's easier to like just kind of sit there um, obviously hang my coat here but my stethoscope is also there and then in the shower caddy like I keep my clean clothes up here uh, any extra chargers and things like that I have some lotion my head tie that I usually put on my head because you know, it's COVID times, you wanna keep everything covered. Um, I usually get some extra socks from the trauma bay because it happens more often than not that you get blood on your shoes and your socks and things like that. So you just wanna change that stuff out and you know, take a shower if you have to, depending on how dirty you get. Have an N95 here, trauma shears, uh, always can use some gum. And then I have my toothbrush because like I said, I'm here for 24 hours, so like it's good to have a toothbrush with N95. Um, this is the side that I keep my bag that I'm actually like bringing from home. So that's there. Have some extra masks down there, like surgical mask and then my dirty mask that I actually need to go and um, replace. And then here you will see that I have my clean scrubs here and then I put my dirty scrubs in a bag over here. Um, that way, like I like to just kind of go and like put all my dirty scrubs in the scrub machine and get new clean scrubs and just have them prepared and already ready to go so that when I walk in, I can just take my clean scrubs from here. And then I have some more like head stuff um, because if we do have to go to the OR, we have to have our heads covered. And this is where I typically keep my shoes that I wear around the hospital because you know, they're dirty. I don't take them home. Um, and then I always have this here, I probably need like a new one. This is my little air freshener just to make sure that the place stays clean and smells good. But that is it, that is what is in my locker. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. If you guys have any other questions for me, please, you know what to do.
All right, so that's it. I mean, I have a lot of things in my locker, things that I need, things that I think that I need, you know, just in case something happens, any unwanted friends pop up and I wasn't really um, realizing that it was that time. Uh, so it's always great to be prepared and you know, you have to be neat. Like if there's one thing that you can take away from this is you have to have everything organized because whether it's your locker because you're on a 24 hour call like me, or it's your bag because this is the bag that you take to work every day. You want to be able to find the various different things that you will be utilizing throughout the day or throughout your time at work because the easier you can get the, to those things, the easier your job will be. All right, so if you have any other questions for me, you guys, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. You know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at the PA, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.